Ja, ja, ja tenk this is cool. Or should I stop playing before I break my chair? <laughs> Let me stop before I break my $500 chair, though. Yeah, it was an expensive chair, but I wanted a nice one, so I bought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me in the comments, whatever. Hey, well, family, first and foremost, good morning. It is your boy. Is my microphone on? Yes. Good morning, what is good? It's your boy. We back with another. If you're new to the channel, smash the sub for a brother. If you back, you know for a fact, I appreciate you. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.01 on the dot. I just woke up maybe an hour and a half ago. Um, I got work later, so I'm kind of just gonna get started with some editing and things like that. Now, this video was supposed to be for Monday. It's called Mindful Monday, but I think we're gonna just call it Mindful Tuesday, even though it's supposed to be Mindful Monday, but we gonna go from there. One thing I did wanna mention to you guys, I'm trying out a new format where I'm actually typing out everything on Google Docs. Instead of kind of just freestyling my videos, I started giving myself an actual structure. That's why you hear me talking kind of robotic sometimes because I'm trying to remember what I said and I'm kind of just trying to say the sentence and then I'll kind of just freestyle after. But there are certain things that I have written down and I'm trying to make sure I get off to you guys. So just bear with me for now for this next, you know, for the next few weeks till my videos start getting, they sound more fluent. You get me? That being said, this is our first Mindful Tuesday and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it, okay? So this is just gonna be a quick five, six minute video where we talk about mindfulness and how it impacts me and possibly you on your day-to-day -day life. So for anybody who doesn't know, okay, I'm gonna read it. Mindfulness is a mental state and practicing that involves focusing one's attention on the present moment. Focusing your attention on the present moment while calmly accepting one's feelings, thoughts, and bodily sensations. Let's just say, um, let's say you're at the beach, for example. You're, set, you're laying in the sun, right? Are you on Instagram scrolling? You know what I'm saying? Are you, you know, doing whatever? Or are you laying there, hmm, sun's out, sun's beating on my skin. My skin's getting kind of hot right now. The sand's underneath me, the sand feels good, and my feet are warm right now. The breeze comes in every few seconds, that feels good. You know, I hear the seagulls, I can hear the, the ocean at this, you get what I'm saying? You're aware of your, your, your thoughts, your feelings, your bodily sensations, that's just the body sensations. The whole goal of mindfulness is to get you to experience the moments that you're in without getting too caught up in thinking about the future, thinking about the past, things that you have no control of, whatever, whatever. It's supposed to get you to appreciate the moment more, to live in the moment, and it gives you an enhanced form of living. Mindfulness can be practiced multiple different kinds of ways, even through meditation or simply just breathing. And again, bringing awareness to your day-to-day -day activities. As you continue to do that, it's gonna become a form of meditation and practice in its own. Just, just when you're doing something, take that third person. I almost like to step out of my body for a second and then just be like, okay, yo, what's going on? Where are you at? What are you doing? How are you feeling? All right, you know what I'm saying? I always like to give myself that check-in again, just to be aware of what you're going on. Be mindful, be in the present moment. Again, training the mind to be fully aware and present not only is growth for you, but it allows you to gain more clarity, more focus, and more emotional resilience. Meaning, when you go through something emotionally, you're able to recover from it or withstand it, or it, it takes a lot more to bother you or you know, for you to come back from it. Next, I'm just gonna give you a couple different aspects of mindfulness that I want to point out. Some things that I like to kind of put a little more focus on and the, the ones that I feel have helped me the most. So number one being attention. Mindfulness involves directing your attention completely to the present moment. You don't want any wandering thoughts, any distractions, any anything that's not going on with the present moment, you want to eliminate that out of your mind. There's things that you can do to bring your mind back to the present moment, to gain that, regain that attention. Whether it be paying attention and taking slow, deep breaths. Um, listening to the sounds around you and and the the people look you know whatever you're doing focus on what the things that are going on in the moment number two 
This creates a form of non-judgmental awareness. That means when you're going through these experiences, you don't look at them as good or as bad. You go through these things with your thoughts, your emotions, and your bodily sensations. You don't kind of go through things as if they're good or bad. You kind of go through it and you kind of just decide how you want to feel about it versus something just happening and you feeling some type of way about it. Number three, acceptance. Acceptance meaning when you're going through these things, you can't change whatever's happening, whether it did happen already or it hasn't even happened yet. And that's where this mindfulness comes into play, where you're not thinking too hard into the future or in the past, your attention is directed to now, and you're just accepting what's happening now. You can't change it, you can't, you can't do anything different, so just, again, accept it, go through it. This means embracing your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions with no resistance, you know? It's all right, I'm in, I'm in a bad spot right now, maybe, you know, things aren't going good, it's okay. It's okay, I'm gonna accept it. I'm not gonna tweak out, I'm not gonna go crazy. It's, things aren't good, that's fine. Not everything's gonna be good 24, seven, seven days a week. So, so that's where that acceptance comes into play. It, 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 you go through this without any form of, you know, denial or not, nah, I'm not, you know, you, you work on your problems instead of kind of putting them on the back burner, or feeling like you're not denying that you're in the situations that you're in. A major, another major thing with accepting things, it allows you to not get attached to things. Say you're, say you're dealing with somebody, right? Well, I'm just gonna accept the fact that you're dealing with them, the experience, you know? Just accept it. You, you can like somebody. Enjoy that person, enjoy their presence. You know, it doesn't ha that doesn't mean you have to date them for the rest of your life. You can encounter somebody, accept that the fact that they're a great person, that they have a nice vibe, enjoy your experience with them, whether it be a week, whether it be three months, whether it be a year, enjoy it and then just move on from it. You accept the fact that you encountered somebody during a period of time that brought you joy, that brought you happiness, good memories, and that's what that is. You know, you don't have to get too attached to it and oh, this guy or this girl or, you know, female, this, this, no, 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 you just, you get to, you start to learn to just experience things, you know what I'm saying? Versus getting so attached to every single experience. I hope that makes sense. And the last one I'm gonna live with you is integration into daily life. How can you integrate this, this mindfulness into your daily life and what does it do for you? When you bring mindfulness to your day-to-day -day experiences, whether it be walking, riding a bike, listening to music, doing yoga at the gym, when you are mindful of these things, it enhances the experience because you're now not only going through it, but you're aware that you're going through it. You now have more focus on you going through it and you get to direct the experience now. Now you're in control of the experience 100% because you're fully aware of every set you're doing, every stretch, every bite you're taking, every song you pick, you're fully aware of it, you know, and it creates an enhanced feeling, a more enjoyable feeling, a better feeling. And again, that'll translate into your day-to-day, -day, your job, your this or that. It makes everything enjoyable. It makes things not feel like as much of a task, more of a, a decision. Feel me? Again, so I know I was kind of just rambling a little bit, but again, I hope you could take away from this video. Again, we're learning about just being mindful, mindfulness. That's the that's the quote of this, the, the word of the day is mindfulness, right? Being aware, being present of what's going on, what we're doing at every moment, right? Your emotions, your thoughts, your feelings, your bodily sensations. We're taking mind of that and we're in control of these things, right? So if you made it to the end of this video, Again, you are beyond appreciated. Thank you for your time, energy, and effort. If I would appreciate if you hit that like button if you wanna join the family. If not, I know you'll join eventually. I hope everybody has an excellent day, week, month, and year. Go hard today, go hard tomorrow. Be grateful that you woke up. Smash that sub button, put a smile on your face, and I'ma catch you on the next video, all right? Deuces.